Ah, isn't that lovely? So peaceful. Look how quickly her fingers are moving. Uh-oh. I think she stretched her little finger out too far and might have pulled a muscle. But which muscle? Maybe her abductor digiti minimi muscle? I'm not too sure. Stay tuned to find out, because today we're going to be learning about the muscles of the hand. There are two muscle groups which create movement at the hands and fingers. These are the extrinsic and intrinsic muscles of the hand. The extrinsic muscles of the hand are the muscles which originate within the forearm and extend to insert onto the structures of the hand. These muscles facilitate the gross motor movements of our hands, but we aren't going to be focusing on this muscle group today. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the intrinsic muscles of the hand. These are the muscles which originate and insert within the hand. These muscles are responsible for our fine motor skills, helping us to hold a pen, play the piano, and even button up our jackets. The intrinsic muscles of the hand can be divided into three groups. The metacarpal muscles, the thenar muscles, and the hypothenar muscles. We'll take a look at each of the muscles which make up these groups and explore their attachments, functions, and innovation. We'll then finish off today's tutorial with a quick look at some clinical notes on the muscles of the hand to help consolidate our knowledge. Let's begin with the muscles associated with the metacarpal bones. The metacarpal muscles are located between the metacarpal bones of the hand. They are made up of three groups of muscles, the dorsal interossei, the palmar interossei, and the lumbricals. So without further ado, let's begin by taking a look at the dorsal interossei. Note that we are now looking at a dorsal view of the hand otherwise known as the back of the hand. The dorsal interosseous muscles comprise four short muscles. They can be found in the spaces between the metacarpal bones and are usually numbered from one to four, starting at the thumb. Each dorsal interosseous muscle has two heads, which attach to the near sides of the adjacent metacarpals. Each muscle then converges onto a central tendon, which extends to insert onto the base of the associated proximal phalanx and extensor expansion. They are bipennate muscles. This means that muscle fibres come towards the inserting tendon at an angle from two directions, similar to the barb and quill of a feather. Let's take a closer look at the insertions of each individual dorsal interosseous muscle now. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full length video and master anatomy.